714, and you may be getting money back from previous hospital bills. Maryland's General Assembly passes the Medical Debt Reimbursement Act and will use the $61 million overpaid to hospitals and give it back to patients. Well, joining us this morning to explain the overcharges and refund process, head of Maryland's Consumer Right Coalition, Marceline White. Good morning, Marceline. Good morning. So this is, I mean, you start seeing, you know, like $61 million. How long ago have hospitals been overcharging? It's a great question. It's actually $61 million a year over a two-year period. So $120 million in 20, um, between 2017 and 2018. And the state agency that oversees the oversees the hospitals right. produced this report last year. And the Maryland Consumer Rights Coalition and our colleagues said, you know, we need to do something about that. These are people that should have gotten free care and they need to get that money back. Yeah, so they went in and then all of a sudden they were, they got whatever they needed in the hospital, then left and then started receiving the bills and the creditors started coming after them? That's right. Um, hospitals um, define people as either getting charity care, free or reduced cost mm -hmm. care, or they write the debt off. They consider it bad debt and the bad debt they send to debt collectors. What happened is the hospitals wrongly um, considered 60% of people who should have gotten free care as bad debtors and sent debt collection activities after them. Oh, and then the harassment coming after that too, just to put it on exactly. that. Exactly, so, the phone calls, yeah. the stress. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and just, again, these are people who should have gotten free care, so they're not making a lot of money. So just, right. you know, all of that, um, all of those calls of harassment. Yeah, just compounded on it, too. I mean, what is exactly. it, credit, you know, if you're trying to get a loan or something? So, Marceline, how will those mail lenders know if they were part of this disbursement, I guess, getting back? It's great. Well, it's great. We've got a few more steps to do. The bill passed out of the subcommittee yesterday and will go before the Health Government Operation Committee today or tomorrow. Okay. But it should be through the House by Monday. What will happen is the hospitals will be working with the state oversight body, the comptroller's office, and DHS to identify the patients that overpaid directly. They will work through a process that protects their identity. They will identify the patients. And then what should happen is the hospitals will be cutting them a check and um, sending the money back out to them. And they'll be reporting to the General Assembly every year so we can make sure what progress are they making? Yeah, I, that was my, going to be my last question. You just answered that right there, checking in every year. That's the way to do it. Marceline White, thank you so much for providing us the information on this. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sure.